Hello. Uh, this demo will uh, show you uh, communication between uh, a master and a slave device using Modbus protocol. Modbus is a very old protocol, primarily used for communication between uh, industrial components. Mostly it's used in industrial applications. So to start with, I will uh, just explain in brief regarding the hardware that we're using for this demo. What you see in front of you is a PIC24 based uh, microcontroller. And this microcontroller is used as a Modbus slave. Modbus essentially is a master-slave protocol. So one master and multiple slaves will be there in the network. In this case, we are just using one master and one slave. So uh, what we will see in this demo is how we are able to send signals from the master to the slave and then how the slave responds to those uh, commands. So apart from this uh, PIC based, uh, this device in this configuration would be called a Modbus RTU slave. Modbus itself has different flavors like RTU and uh, Modbus over TCP. This demo we are using Modbus RTU. Apart from the RTU device, we have a another hardware component here. This is a level shifter. Uh, Modbus in general would use RS485. For the demo purpose, we are using RS232. Uh, now it's uh, common knowledge that uh, microcontrollers use CTL signals and uh, RS232 signals uh, have a very different voltage. So to shift signal voltage between TTL to RS232, we are using this board. Uh, it is based on MAX232. The other end of this board is connected to a DB9 connector which in turn goes all the way and connects to the COM port of the desktop. The master slave, master software actually sends data from the COM port of the computer to this connector which in turn sends it back to this Modbus RTU slave device. Now we'll go to the desktop. This is uh, the firmware of uh, the Modbus device. I'm just going to make a small change here. And uh, I'll upload this firmware into the slave device. It's compiled. Now it's connecting to the programmer. Okay, now you can see that it's uh, programmed and verification is complete. I'm basically using a microchip based uh, NP LabX environment. Now this firmware is uploaded on the hardware that uh, I just showed you. So our Modbus slave device is ready to receive commands. So before we send commands, we need to connect to the device. So there are multiple uh, simulation or uh, Modbus tools you can download and uh, try this. I've got a couple of different tools which I show you. The first one is uh, a Modbus scanner. It's got a very basic UI. Uh, it's got a feature called discover. So we'll discover A Modbus RTU device. What you see here is two different types of devices. One is serial, the other one is TCP. So we're not going to use TCP, we're going to use serial. The device is connected to COM1 and uh, the board I've used is 9600. Now the device ID that is used in my program is 4, so we'll try to search for devices from 4 to 5. Now let's try to scan. There's a scan button here at the bottom. So what this tool does is it connects to the device and sends various commands to it. So you see 
that it's connected to device 4 it sent one two three four different commands and all of them say the status is good okay so now what we do is send a specific command to the slave device i've already pre-configured the command it's called read coil status so when i fire this command you will see some results on the right side right now the right side is empty so i'll just fire this command okay so this command is called read coil status the coil in modbus terminal g is a bit single bit okay so a coil stands for a data set of single bit and uh, this ui actually requested for coil status starting from 1 all the way till 100 so on the rightmost column you see the data it received from uh, the rtu is 1 okay so now just to make sure that it's getting proper values what i'll do is i'll go back to the firmware and change the coil value and upload the firmware again so quickly I go here and I'm just setting the coil values to zero okay so for coil 0 to 50 the coil value will be zero so I'm going to update this changed firmware As you can see, it's connecting to the programmer and uh, it's updating the firmware. Okay, so firmware update is complete. What I do is go back to the tool and uh, right now you still see the old values. So if I do a double click here, it will do another connection and request for coil statuses i'll do that so what you've seen is it's got updated values which is all zeros from zero first to 50 okay so this is just one of the commands which is called read coil status there are many other commands like this like reading a register writing to a register so all of these uh, the information regarding all of this is available in modbus specification if you are able to achieve one function which is read coil status or change the status of a coil rest of the functions are quite similar so apart from this tool i will show you another tool this is called simply modbus This is a demo version of the tool. This tool also does something similar to the previous Morbus scanner, but it shows you commands and the byte codes of the commands also. So it's a little more, it's got a different interface. So if you see this UI, similar configuration, Morbus mode is RTU, COM port 1, board is 96008 database. You'll quickly see the slave ID. I've chosen four so you can change it but i'm using four so i'll fire the same command which is reading coil status uh, how do i know the function code for reading coil status is zero one that you can see here zero one is the function code and this is the actual modbus command which is going to the slave okay so one two three four five six seven eight bytes this is the slave ID and this is the command ID. The last two bytes are the checksums. You can see it's CRC. You can get into Modbus specification to completely understand how this works. So I'll quickly just do a send here. You will see the response here. Okay. So you sent read call status request and this is the response from the slave. So again, slave has said that its ID is 4. The command requested was 01. 
and its response is this again last two bytes are always checksum okay so there is a way to interpret this which is beyond the scope of this uh, demonstration but uh, you can use any uh, scanner or uh, controller software from the desktop and try to communicate with your Modbus slave device and send commands and receive responses. So that's the overall uh, demo. Thanks for watching.